For many Nigerians, they believe that if they just put um, one of these political aspirants, maybe the Obi man or Tinibu or Atiku, Nigeria will be heaven on earth. You are a joke. That's how Nigerians were dreaming that Buhari will be the promised Messiah and their hearts are so broken to pieces. Now again, they are putting their hope again in another man. There's no one man that can free your nation. There's none. I don't care what his name is and his political pedigree. The kingdom that you're looking for is not in men. <laughs>challenge that people had in the days of Jesus in the four gospels is the same that people you know have even now when Jesus came Israel did not expect what we refer to as kingdom of God through the nation of Israel but what they were looking out for was an earthly kingdom Israel were not expecting anything other than an earthly government an earthly kingdom a political kingdom who had at least sovereign rulership and power that was their expectation so they were expecting Jesus seeing his miracles and seeing his power that Jesus may be it. They had an impostor king, a tyranny, difficult situation. Israel were under religious institutions that were gone amok. So they wanted a savior at that time. Israel wanted a kingdom. So they were looking out for you know, um, uh, military power. They were looking for economic strength. They wanted to be liberated politically. They wanted just like Nigeria is looking for how to be free from political tyranny and to be free from political mismanagement and from political abuse, you know? So when Jesus died, it broke their heart. They were disappointed because they saw Jesus as the savior. They saw Jesus as the one that will free them from tyranny, from the emperor, that will free them from religious bondage and from all their slave masters. They saw that Jesus was the hope for their economy, for the restoration of the nation of Israel. Because that was their focus. That was what they were looking for. And unfortunately, many Christians, that's what they're looking for in Nigeria today. That's what they're looking for. They have substituted the gospel with politics. For many Nigerians, they believe that if they just put um, one of these political aspirants, maybe the Obi man or Tinibu or Atiku, Nigeria will be heaven on earth. You are a joke. You are a fat joke. That's how Nigerians were dreaming that Buhari will be the promised Messiah and their hearts are so broken to pieces. Now again, they are putting their hope again in another man. There's no one man that can free your nation. There's none. I don't care what his name is and his political pedigree. There's no one person. No one man. The kingdom that you're looking for is not in men. There's no man that will give. That's what Israel were looking for. And unfortunately, because people are not, they are not literate in the word of God, they are still repeating the same mistakes that the Jews were repeating. They are not literate. Because a lot of church people are not taught. In fact, for many church people, their evangelism now is to make one of these political aspirants their, their president. And they believe that they have fulfilled evangelism. Is a joke. <laughs> is a joke. In the book of Acts, they even came to Jesus and said, when will you restore the kingdom again to Israel? What did Jesus say? It's not in my hand. You shall receive power. Go and preach the gospel. Politics is not the preaching of the gospel. Do I want Nigeria to be better? Yes, why not? Will it be better? I hope so. I hope so. But even if it doesn't get better, well, we have a kingdom. We have a kingdom. And that's what we should be doing, getting people into this kingdom. This kingdom that is guaranteed and this kingdom that is sure. Yeah, that's what we should be doing. Not advancing some political agenda. Am I against politics? By no means. <clears throat> I know I'm destroying a lot of people's balloons today. But I need to do that because you are not one of those churches that are not educated. I can't be teaching you doctrine and you'll be running amok and going wild, pursuing some political agenda that will disappoint you yourself. You shall receive power. That's the only thing that Jesus promised you. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come. And this is why you will receive the power. Go and be witnesses. Go and preach my kingdom because my kingdom is not of this world. I'm teaching good. If you are reading the scriptures, you really know that what Jesus came to fulfill. His mission was not hidden. It was clearly defined. When Jesus said hell is the word Gehina from the word Genon. When he said hell or Gehina, you could literally point to what he was talking about. It was like a dump site. A dump site where they burn things in Bible days. Hell. You could literally point to a dump site where they dump yes refuse and then you can put 
fire on it and burn it off. So it was used in a figure of speech. He used fire symbolically. It was a representation of what happens to disobedience and unbelief. There is no such fire. It was symbolically used. <laughs> you must listen. Oh. Listen to me so you hear what I'm saying and what I'm not saying. But there are some people who just, who don't hear what I say. Somebody now will go and say, Dr. Damina said there is no hell. Just like out of a, a teaching of many hours, the only thing that interests them is that Dr. Damina said don't clap hands. That becomes a headline. And nothing else added to that. No flesh. Only a fool like the writer will believe what the writer said. An intelligent person, a smart person will say, okay, I have heard. Can I have the complete statement? Can I have the full message where he said it? So that I too can have the complete story. But a foolish person who didn't go to a proper school will take that statement and run. Anybody that that is in this world now knows that you don't take what you see on social media hook line and sinker the doctor damina say no hell headlines and everybody will start talking he's a demon he's a stupid person don't mind dr damina he's looking for attention and of course he's looking for attention and you have given him the attention hasn't he succeeded what will i use your attention for? what will i use the attention for like I said in this service, that you shouldn't look for the kingdom of God in what Nigerian politicians can offer. Somebody will now go out and say, Dr. Damina say, don't vote for Peter Obi, don't vote for, don't vote for Tinibu, don't vote for Atiku. Did I say that? Only somebody that is mischievous and wicked in his heart will think like that. And of course, by now, that person should know he's not the one I'm talking to. I'm addressing members of my church whose hearts are open and have an understanding of what I am teaching. So I don't care about such people. Those idiotes are not my focus. I'm teaching good here. You have mouth to talk so you can talk anything. Since you were born, you just open your eye and you saw mouth in your face. And you don't pay to talk. Go ahead and be talking. Metombrandas.